speaking of labels, it seems like with modern coins in particular that we've seen a sophistication of uh, design of labels. Uh, I think this year NGC has introduced uh, a number of new labels for not only the Silver Eagle program, but for world coins, and specifically world coin label designs that are geared towards the individual countries. Can you right. speak about that program and how it's being received? Uh, I think in terms of looking at our holder, for example, um, it's a vehicle that contains the coin and it, it contains a special label. So it's applicable to um, releases from any World Mint uh, or, for example, we have introduced the Major League Baseball label and that's very, very popular. So it can be paired with a Silver Eagle or a Hall of Fame coin um, and we have offices now in Zurich, in Hong Kong, and uh, Munich, uh, Shanghai, um, submission centers and uh, there's events similar to what's going on in the U.S. There might be a coin show or it might be a particular um, uh, event that's going on uh, or a signing. So we recently introduced the William Shatner's uh, hand-signed label. Obviously that's one of the most popular iconic names in, uh, in uh, that genre. So we're, we're, we're coupling marketing and licensing with our, our holders and it's, uh, we're letting the market to kind of dictate where where we go, this is there's a huge demand for this, and people love it. They they know it's they know it's authentic. They know it's um, it's been verified, and there's a limited amount of these. Well, this this concept is also sort of uh, finding itself in classic numismatics as well. Right. For instance, the Eric P. Newman collection has been offered or all graded by NGC, but they also have a novelty label that's specific towards that collection. Well, I wouldn't call it a novelty label. What You have to put the Newman collection in context. It's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime collection. Literally, this gentleman was a scholar from age, you know, 18, and he's been, he's 103 years old, so he, he had the foresight to collect the most amazing early American coinage and currency. Um, in the world, in, in, and uh, we we decided to honor his legacy by producing a, a unique label that, uh, to the Eric P. Newman Foundation, and all the money, by the way, goes to charity. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, that is in, in a way honoring. It's a way to distinguish that collection uh, in in, per, in perpetuity, and also we have. Um, uh, a site on our, on our website that uh, disseminates that information and the images and it's an archive. So um, we're building this community, we're building this archive of information that uh, collectors can go back and research and look at and um, the label certainly is unique, it will never be used again. Uh, I think that enhances the holder, I think it enhances the experience um, and it it's, it's kind of extends through the product so it extends through the life of the the collection. There's going to be 10 different auctions on numismatics. There'll be some currency auctions. We do, we're doing the numismatic. We've done five of those. It's one of the most extraordinary experiences of my career. Uh, I've seen unique items. I've seen high quality material that's um, finest known, early American, and no one can know everything. And so we're constantly learning and we want to make sure we disseminate that information. If you like this video, we're sure you'll love these three videos. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. CoinWeek is the number one source online for all things numismatic. Visit www.coinweek.com to take your hobby to the next level.